Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. Today's class we are going to discuss about the questions on the transfer characteristics of clippers. So I have been receiving a lot of requests to do the videos on transfer characteristics. That is, uh, the transfer characteristics will be either given to you or you have to identify what type of a clipper is that or else the clipper circuit will be given to you. You have to identify the transfer character. Okay, so some sort of such questions we will be discussing in this video. I hope that this video will be useful. Okay, so let us see what is the first question. Identify the transfer cara of the given circuit with silicon diodes. Okay, so we have uh, discussed this type of circuits uh, in previous videos. Okay, theory videos also, also in problem videos we have discussed. So this type of clipper is called a dual clipper. Now this dual clipper means it is used for clipping of both the positive half cycle and negative half cycle and including a bias voltage. For the positive half cycle also and for the negative half cycle also. And since this is a shunt type of clipper. See the diodes are connected in parallel connection. And, and when the diodes are in parallel connection. It is called a shunt clipper. Otherwise it is called a series clipper. All these things we have discussed in the uh, theory videos of clippers. Okay. So anyway this is a dual clipper. And it is used for clipping of positive and negative half cycle. So how will be the output of this waveform looking like? That is uh, output of this circuit looking like. During the positive half cycle, a sine wave of 20 volt peak to peak is being given, right? So during the positive half cycle, what is happening? During the positive half cycle of the input VI, the VI is trying to make the diode as this diode, let this be D1, is trying to make the diode as forward bias. But due to the presence of this 3 volt voltage source, the diode will get reverse bias and also there is a voltage drop of 0.7. So, this type of problem also we have discussed. During the forward bias condition of this diode, this diode will be looking like this. Just like a voltage source. Again, a bias voltage is connected. So, when the diode is forward bias, this branch will have a 0.7 since it is a silicon diode. The drop voltage or the built-in voltage is 0.7 or also there is a 3 volt. Right. So, when VI is greater than this much of voltage, that is 3 plus 0.7, the diode will get actually forward bias. See, during the positive half cycle, the wave is positive. The input wave is positive. Also, your diode is connected in such a way that positive and the cathode, positive and negative. So, it will, the VI is actually trying to make the diode as forward bias, but this Bias voltage is trying to make it as a reverse bias and also there is a voltage drop. So total 3.7 volt is needed to break this barrier to actually make the diode as forward bias. And also since the diode is in shunt connection, our favorable condition is reverse bias. Otherwise if the diode is forward bias, it will go to the, the input will go to the ground. No, that is the case. And when the diode is reverse bias or till the moment is reverse bias, we will get our output waveform. Okay. So, what will be the output waveform during the positive half cycle? Till 3.7, you will get your output waveform. So, this is your B out. Okay. So, this is the case for the positive half cycle. Similarly, during the negative half cycle, same case is happening. And for the negative half cycle, here also 3 volt is applied and there is again a built-in potential of 0.7. So, the diode has to be reverse biased to get our output. If the diode is getting forward bias or the moment the diode gets forward bias, clipping will actually start. So, this is your output waveform for the negative half cycle. So, if you are not very thorough with how the waveform is coming. Please do watch the video on either the theory video or the problem video. I have done a single video on uh, problems of clippers. I have explained how the waveform is coming. So this is the output of for a double clipper. Now how the transfer care of the double clip clipper will look like. It will be having a, a part in the positive side which is clipped off and negative side also clipped off. Okay. So this will be happening or the clipping will happening at 3.7 and here also minus 3.7. This is actually the transfer care of this circuit. Now let us look into the option. 
which option is having the correct transfer character. Option A is having a minus 3.7, but it is not having any waveform during the positive quadrant of the graph. So, option A is not correct. Option B is exactly the transfer character of this dual clipper. Okay, so it is the correct answer. Option C also is not, actually the positive side is going on uh, with the input waveform. It is not correct. So, it is not correct for this particular circuit. The correct answer for this question or the exact transfer cara for this particular dual clipper is option B is your correct answer. Okay, so here why this 3.7 is coming? Because of the bias voltage plus built-in potential. We know that uh, the diodes are actually PN junctions and in order to make the diode contact, we need to break the barrier of the PN junction, right? So for that, we need a 0.7 voltage. Uh, so that is why they have been specifically given that these diodes are silicon diodes. I hope this question is clear. The next question that we are going to discuss today is this. What is the value of VI for the transfer carrier in the below figure for silicon diode use? Again, we are going for a practical diode consideration because if it was a silicon, uh, sorry, if it was an ideal diode, it, were, it won't be given in the question that consider it is a silicon diode or consider it is a germanium diode. In the question, if it is given like that, that is, if it is given like a silicon diode, means they are telling us to consider the built-in potential also. Okay, that is why they are specifically giving the type of diode used. Okay, here this is a uh, clipper circuit being given and the transfer carrier is also given. Right, so uh, if you look at the transfer carrier, it is very much clear that this is a negative clipper because we cannot really see any... Uh, part in the negative half cycle of the of the transfer carrier right if it was a negative uh, i mean if it passed negative side means there would be some uh, part in the negative quadrant right but you cannot see any negative part in the transfer carrier so this is a this is a negative clipper circuit and also from the figure it is very much clear that this circuit is actually trying to clip off your negative half of the waveform because the diode is connected in series connection with the anode is connected in the front. So anode and then cathode. So during the post half cycle, the diode is actually getting forward bias. And we know that in the series connection, forward bias condition is the required case. Okay, so very simple. During the post half cycle, what is happening? During the post half cycle, the VI is trying to make the diode as forward bias. But what is there before that diode? There is a 5 volt. And the 5 volt is connected in such a way that it is making the diode as reverse bias. So, this 5 volt has to be overcome in order to actually make the diode as forward bias, right? So, even though VI is trying to make the diode as forward bias, we need a 5 volt extra because the 5 volt is there to make the diode as a reverse bias. So, we have to overcome it. And also, since it is given in the question that silicon diode is being used, there is a built-in potential right here. So when the diode is getting forward bias, there is a built-in potential, right? So this built-in potential, which is 0.7, is also there. And this built-in potential is also being consumed by the diode to actually get forward bias. Actually, there is a, when the diode is in reverse bias, what is happening? There is a barrier created. And this barrier, we need to break. And we need to apply a voltage externally to break this barrier voltage. And its magnitude should be equal to the barrier voltage, right? So that is a theory of the diode. So there is a 0.7 volt also. So we need to actually apply a 5 plus 0.7 volt to actually make the diode forward bias. So VI should be greater than this much. So, what will be this value of VI should be greater than 5.7 or it should be equal to 5.7. Okay, so from 5.7 onwards is actually the diode getting forward bias. Okay, so what is the answer here? The correct answer is option B which is 5.7 is the correct answer. And if in the question... There is no 5.7 means you have to choose what value? You have to choose 
5 because exactly the 5 voltage is required but we are considering here the built-in potential of the diode also that is why we are going for 5.7 otherwise there is only a 5 volt for the case of that is actually we are considering there that it is a IEL diode okay so don't get confused with it if it is a 5 volt choose the that option otherwise if it is a 5.7 you have to choose a 5.7 okay so the correct answer here is option b 5.7 draw the transfer carrier of this figure so only two graphs are being given vi is given and v out is being given we have not given any circuit here we have to identify the circuit then draw its transfer carrier very simple circuit right sorry very simple graph right so there is a vi that is input waveform the waveform is having a plus v max and a minus v max and if you see the output the output is present only during the negative half cycle see here negative half cycle entirely is present okay you have to identify that the negative half cycle entirely is being present till minus v max okay so from this figure or from the output waveform we can infer that there is no bias voltage connected if there was a bias voltage there would have been some level changes with the output voltage here there is no level changes or there is no clipping off of the output side in the negative half cycle so the output waveform is entirely present during the negative half cycle so it is a, a simple positive clipper without any negative uh, without any bias voltage okay so there is no bias voltage being seen or we can cannot really infer that any bias voltage present in the circuit so if you draw the circuit before drawing the transfer carrier let us try to draw the circuit now before actually drawing the transfer carrier let us try to identify the circuit first okay so this looks like a very simple circuit and this uh, from this graph we cannot uh, we cannot infer that there is some voltage present see if you see the negative half cycle it is entirely present you cannot find any shifts or clipping of the negative half cycle and the positive half cycle is entirely being clipped so uh, from the figure we can we can find that or we can infer that there is no bias voltage present there is only a simple diode and a load resistor and this is used for the circuit is used for clipping of the positive half cycle right so how will the diode be connected the diode will be connected like this that is during the positive half cycle of your input waveform the diode will get reverse bias and during the negative half cycle of the waveform the diode will get forward bias so you will get your negative half cycle entirely and you won't get any positive half cycle simple so it is a positive clipper so this is your diode now how will the transfer carrier will look like there is no positive half cycle and you have we are entire negative half cycle so this is the transfer carrier x y now till what value your output uh, will go up to minus v max right so this is your transfer carrier for this particular circuit i hope this is clear okay so uh, the diode is a series clipper uh, sorry the circuit is a series clipper circuit used for clipping of your positive half cycle and this is the transfer carrier of this circuit. The next question is this. Draw the transfer carrier of the uh, of this graph. Okay. So here, uh, this is very similar to the previous question. Only the difference is that this circuit is passing only the positive half cycles. Okay. So here also the output will be present. And the value goes up to plus V max. Okay. So this is a what type of clipper? It is a negative clipper. So how will the diode or the circuit will look like? This is a negative clipper means it passes the positive half cycles. So, this will be the case. V out across a load resistor. There is a load resistor, there is a diode, there is a VI. Okay. So, the diode is connected in such a way that it passes positive half cycles and it cut off the negative half cycle. Here again, since the Vmax is uh, present entirely, during the positive half cycle, we cannot really predict of having any bias voltage. So, simply we can draw the circuit like this. And how will the transfer carrier will look like? The transfer carrier will be present only on the positive quadrant. During the negative quadrant, it is 0. During the positive quadrant, it is present. And with the 
value of plus v max okay so this is is the transfer carrier of the uh, of this circuit okay so this is the transfer carrier of this particular circuit and also this x is actually your what your v out and this is your vi if okay, you are drawing the transfer carrier with v out and vi in all the previous transfer carriers also i have explained as uh, x and y i'm just uh, simply drawing the transfer carrier actually you have to draw between your v out and vi so you are actually drawing the transfer characteristics of your v out okay so it is a v out and vi so please do correct that x and y with v out and vi okay so this is the transfer carrier of a negative clipper since it is clipping of the negative half cycles entirely and hence the value is zero and for vi greater than zero your v out will be present and it will be going up to plus v max okay so this is the transfer characteristics and this is the circuit for this particular graph so you can also face questions like this they'll be giving you the graph you have to identify the circuit and you have to draw the or from the options you have to choose the transfer carrier so in this video we have discussed about the dual clipper transfer carrier the clipper transfer carrier with voltage connected and also we have discussed simple series uh, clippers transfer carrier okay i hope that this video was useful for your preparation if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with all your friends who is preparing for any of the competitive examination and also if you want any topic of your interest please do mention in the comment section i'm receiving a lot of requests to do various areas various topics i'm doing that one by one i'm trying to complete all those uh, requests as soon as possible okay i hope that uh, this video was helpful if yes please do share this video with all your friends as i said earlier okay and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thank you